what up guys this is so so today uh people have been asking about the hot take the rant and we're gonna get into it uh before we do so make sure to hit like and subscribe if you want that genuine content uh, if you like these hot takes if you like me to give it to you the way the devs uh won't then uh, stick around so here we go I, I noticed a comment in one of my recent videos about the diamond back and the comment was somebody saying so basically it's like the year one dps build or something like that right and um the comment struck me in a weird way because he was right but it really shines a light on one of the biggest problems in the game um if it's not broke don't fix it so you know it's like if you got a car right everybody the, the model of the car with the exception of like uh, or transportation right ground transport's gonna have four wheels or uh, whatever 18 wheels if you're hauling stuff around an airplane's gonna have wings and uh, you know so on and so forth the point is that everybody basically has their go-to builds so for DPS builds you're you're basically talking like crit builds or like a strikers or whatever like a hunter's fury or whatever the case may be depending on how you choose to play so my choice has historically been DPS crit with the multiplicatives Foxes, Contractors, Glass Cannon, um, all the upfront damage, right? All the buffs going up front versus building stacks. Some people like Strikers, and uh, and I get it, and that's perfectly fine. The thing is, is you have builds that you're going to gravitate to. So the question here with this Year 6 is, what's changed? And the answer is nothing. There's really nothing they gave us in the game that's going to change somebody's build, right? Um, for the build that I ran now, it's exactly like I said in that Diamondback video. All I wanted was two pieces. So out of this whole year six update, um, with the exception of the bugs, all I got were two pieces. I just wanted that 20% rifle damage for the other uh, Diamondback, plus the ammo. So that build works out fantastic for me. But let's talk about, in general, what happened with this update. So as I was saying, people have their go-to builds. Your go-to build is something you've already maxed out and um, for damage or whatever. Um, you're going to run that build because it suits your play style. That's as, it's as simple as that. So then the question becomes, what have the devs given you that's going to change that build? In my case, like I said, for my basic crit build, like for something like my raid build, nothing's changed. For my open world rifle build, the, uh, the CQB does hit harder now. And uh, the two pieces, that 20% uh, rifle damage bonus, I like it. But it's not a game changer. This new, this other uh, breaking point gear set is a complete disaster. It's a complete disaster. I'm going to tell you why. Because what it's up in competition with is the Spooter build. The Spooter build is like the, the, the faux pas sniper build. It's just, people don't snipe with it. They just have a build. It's like hot shot determined, right? You hit one person in the head, and then you're running around smacking everybody for 20 million with one shot. That's not going to change. So they added marksmanship uh, damage and rifle damage. But you think somebody with a the, with a hot shot build running around clapping everything in one shot is going to change that? Absolutely not. It's not going to happen. So what motivation do players have to make new builds? Very, very little, if any at all. And then the problem becomes the clutter. There's so much damn clutter in this game that you're like you're we're, when you go out farming. If you're still farming, um, it, you have so much stuff, and you only have 16 loadouts, right? I know some people might say something like, "Oh, we'll put them on another character," <laughs> but do you really want to do that? I mean, is it really that? Is that the point where we're at, where it's like, "Okay, cool, yeah, let, let me make a new character." just so I can manufacture every single type of build that's that's available in the game. 99% of them I'm never going to use, right? I only use two or three builds, right? Most people are the same. Um, so then you're faced with this dilemma of uh, the inventory thing. Are you going to uh, delete pieces that you've, you've worked on? Like, it's, it's the hamster wheel, but in a sick, demented way. So you're forced to have the, to make this choice between um, spending materials to expertise something. And, and let's not forget, most people, when it comes down to the expertise system, 
um, unless you're bored, you're not expertising all these builds. You'll probably do a few weapons, like uh, you know your your go-to weapons. And if you did so, it's probably to get them to a, it's like a novelty thing. You're not doing it to uh, accomplish a certain mission. Um, in, in very rare cases, like you'll max out some skills and whatever for a certain build, but it's not global. You're not doing it all over the place. So, again, what's the motivation a player has to make one of these new builds? Considering that you only got uh, rifle and marksmanship, the the three piece of this this uh, breaking point, right? It looks good until you consider versus two Araldi, right? Two Araldi and a Hasberg, the only difference is 5% marksmanship, uh, marksman rifle damage. That's it. That's the only thing, in, or rifle. But, one, but once again, if you're talking about 25% rifle damage on a marksmanship build, these people are running determined. You're running determined. You're not gonna be like, okay, well, let me make this massive downgrade in damage. It's just, I don't see it playing out like that. And um, let me know, let me know in the comments if you think I'm wrong, but I think this whole thing is a complete goddamn disaster. I, I saw a ton of people hop back on for this update and they were smacked with a bunch of bugs. Like you can't even check what people are wearing. So imagine you want to give somebody build advice. You can't do it right now. If you inspect them, you get a blank screen. The game is screwed up. There's like raid uh, skills in the raids aren't working in some areas, I suppose. And people are talking about XP not uh, stacking up to what it was supposed to be. There's just a lot of problems with this thing. And I think that's the underlying factor of the game is they're giving us this song and dance. It's all smoke and mirrors, though. Here's a bunch of new gear. Make new builds. Go run the same missions. But it gets tiring. So that's my hot take. That's my rant. That's my honest opinion about year, uh, year six title update 448 whatever the hell this thing is is that they just rolled out another smoke and mirror show and they're talking about the dlc that's supposed to come and i guess this this furthers that agenda where if we can uh if they can just keep the players going a little bit longer then it's a success push the microtransactions get people to buy the season passes uh stick some uh, exotic some new exotic at the end of the uh the season just to keep people playing but a lot of us veteran players know that we've already hit you, you've already hit it once you got your one build maxed out. You've ran every mission in the game so many times that it just doesn't uh, hold the same level of excitement that it used to have. And all they needed to do was just focus on DLCs and fresh content. Not all this gear and all this BS. So anyways guys, that's the video. Like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. If you have any questions, let me know. Join the, uh, the DPS Discord. Have a good chat. Whatever, whatever. I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.